The UK driving test includes the option of the reverse bay parking manoeuvre, but it's also a really useful skill for use in real life. Most new drivers are taught to do the 90 degree method for their test, but there is another way, the 45 degree method. In this video, we'll show how to do the 45 degree reverse bay park safely, with an overview of the manoeuvre from outside the car, and then a more detailed view from inside the car. We also have a few tips for when you need to park between two other vehicles, or what to do if it goes wrong. If you have any questions about the video, then please leave a comment and we will do our best to reply. We're practicing in a nice empty car park where it would be easy to drive forward or reverse into a bay. But when parking in a smaller or busier car park, the extra manoeuvrability of reverse parking would make it easier to get into a tight gap. When using the 45 degree method, the positioning of the car makes our intended parking position much clearer to other drivers than the 90 degree method. In addition, when it is time to leave the car park, it is a lot easier to drive forwards out of the bay as we have much better visibility. This method of reverse bay parking is acceptable for use on the driving test, so you can use whichever method you prefer if you are asked to do this manoeuvre. If possible, we prefer to park on the left as our normal road position is already suitable for parking on this side. Once we have chosen our target bay, we check our mirrors for danger and signal left to let others know what we are doing. We position the car close to the target bay to give us room to turn and slow down to about one mile per hour. Once we are beside the bay, we quickly steer away from the bay to full right lock. We check our mirrors and when we see that the rear of the car is pointing at the target bay, we straighten our steering and stop. Just before the car enters the bay, we steer towards the bay to full left lock and look around for danger again. As the car becomes straight, we straighten the steering and finally stop once the car is in the bay. Knowing exactly when to steer is key to a good bay park. The reference points we suggest work for us, but different size cars or seating positions may need slightly different turn points. If you need to, find a quiet car park and experiment until you find your own reference points for reliably steering into the bay. With experience, it will become much easier and eventually you will just know when to turn without having to rely on reference points at all. In this video, we have shown how to park on the left, but the technique for parking on the right is exactly the same, except we must carefully position our car on the right before starting the maneuver. Once beside the bay, steer away and then straighten out once the car's rear is pointing at the bay. Once reversing, steer towards the bay, straighten the steering and stop once the car is inside the bay. As always, we must keep looking around for danger until the car has stopped. If possible, we would normally choose to park in a bay that has empty bays next to it, as this allows more room to manoeuvre the car. However, if the car park is very busy, we might have to park in a bay between other vehicles. We will need to be extra careful, so we drive very slowly 
to ensure we don't cause any damage. If we turn into the bay or straighten our steering at the wrong time, then the car might stop at an angle to the bay. If we see this, the easiest way to correct our car's position is by carefully driving forwards out of the bay and then reversing back in again to straighten the car up. Car parks are often very busy, so we must keep looking around for danger. If we spot a hazard near our car, we should stop until we are sure it is safe to continue. So remember to steer away from the bay to angle the car, straighten the steering and stop the car. Steer towards the bay just before entering it and Straighten the steering once the car is straight. If you found this video interesting, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel, then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.